Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're like, Trevor, I've watched some of your videos and I now understand that in order to make money online, you need high income skill sets. Dropshipping, TikTok shop, SMMA and trading are all terrible business models for most beginners to start with. And expecting to make 10K per month in your first 30, 60, 90 days is why most beginners end up failing and jumping from business model to business model all over again. And you're like, I understand this and now I'm ready to get started. I just need somebody to finally tell me what I need to do to get started without just trying to sell me like their, their course or their community and just basically make the video like a, a sales video. So here's my promise for you in this video and this is how it's gonna be different. I'm gonna give you everything that you need to land your first remote sales position, literally just in this video for free. In fact, I'm gonna show you what you need to do over the next 20 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna literally go in for a few minutes and do it and provide a live example. And I'm gonna be breaking down this entire thing for how you can go about doing this. And then if for some reason I go through in the entire video that you can just straight up get results with it for free, and that you would feel more comfortable working with me and getting one-on-one -on -one help going through the full process, then at the end of the video, I'll show you where to go through that. So only if that's something that you would be interested in, but you can just straight up take this and get results with this on your own. And that's why I'm pumped to be sharing this with you because this system has been proven to already work for dozens of my students. And if you don't want coaching, I won't be offended at all. I literally don't need your money. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Step one is finding ideal clients. Step two is gonna be using the personalized Loom outreach approach. And then step three is gonna be interview and securing your role. And so step one, finding ideal clients. Now, despite what most gurus will tell you, the offer that you land is just as important as your actual skill in remote sales. Meaning that the amount of focus that you put into actually getting better at sales should be also put into finding a great offer. And so ideal remote sales roles consist of the following criteria. Basically, the person you're talking to should have anywhere from five to 50K followers. They should have a high ticket offer, which again, I'll literally go in and show you how to do this and how to look for this stuff. They should be a great entrepreneur with a great vision. They should have lofty goals and they should be creating content on social media, plus getting good client results already. And they should be in a niche that you're interested in, right? Like if you're not interested in fitness, don't go and work with a fitness coach. And so there's four main ways that we can actually find individuals like this. Um, consisting of the ads hacking, the connections, the chaining, and the client res results method. I'm going to show you how you can use each one of these to find ideal clients. And here's just a quick example of Adam here, who is using appointment setters. He has in the range of five to 50 K followers. He has great student results. He's posting content and he has a great vision. And so this would be somebody that meets the criteria. Step two is going to be using the personalized loom outreach approach. And so with no experience as a beginner, the only way to land your first role is to do cold outreach, but there are tons of different ways to do this. And most people do it completely wrong because most people, what they'll do is when they're doing outreach, they'll appear like extremely needy. Like they're desperate for people's money. They'll offer zero value up front because they're just straight up lazy. They'll like look like a robot and just copy and paste their messages to a thousand people every day. And they'll do nothing to stand out. And the only way you're going to be standing out from the competition is if you know what they're doing so you can do it different. And you need to think about things from the perspective of the business owner you're reaching out to. What do they want? Why should they hire you over everyone else? What value are you providing to their business? How will you make them more money? How will you save them more time? And this is exactly why we do the personalized Loom approach, because it gives you a massive competitive advantage. Plus it builds reciprocity bias because you're giving value up front. Then the person feels obligated to give you value back in the form of money. And so the personalized Loom video checklist, basically what a Loom video should look like. And again, I'll literally go in and do this from my perspective. So you don't got to worry yet, but you want to look competent by having a nice background and real clothes on. Like you don't want to have shit laying around or like water bottles laying around or all this stuff. The tone of your voice should be like energetic, excited, passionate, kind of like what I am right now. You should be covering the following topics in your actual video itself. So a proper greeting and introducing yourself, then some sort of personalization for why you're reaching out to them, credibility and authority, a personal story to tie it all together, and then a CTA to an interview. And I'll show you exactly how to do this. So again, don't worry. And then lastly is some sort of follow-up after you send out videos to people. And so here's an example of me literally filming personalized Loom videos. I used to do like hundreds of these in 2022 as practice, but then I also used to send them out to people um, to try to either work for them or get them as a client. 
Step three is interviewing and securing your role. So most people think that this type of interview is like a corporate job interview where you just go in and they just ask you a ton, ton of questions when in reality, it's actually the opposite or it's far from that. The way that you want to do these interviews is you want to position yourself as a doctor. So think about when you go to the doctor's office, the doctor asks you questions about where you're at and where you want to be and what's currently happening and what problems are you're currently facing. And then after that, based on what they talk about, they prescribe you a solution. Now, on top of that as well, the doctor isn't needy. Like if the doctor prescribes you a solution and you're just like, no, I don't want to buy. I don't want to do that. Like the doctor is going to be like, okay, fuck off then. Like get out of here. So they're not needy. This is exactly what you want to be. You want to go in asking questions, getting a good understanding of the business you're talking to. And in the event that they don't decide to work with you, that's cool. Despite how bad you want money and how, how bad you want to make money online, I get it. You have to have the appearance at the very least that you're not needy. And so you need to ensure that on this interview, you ask questions in regards to um, stuff that I'm about to share in a second, but you want to ask questions to make sure that you can even help the person you're talking to. Again, the doctor, if the doctor asks you questions and you don't have any problems, they don't need to prescribe you a solution. And then you need to make it seem like you actually know what you're doing, because when you ask questions, it makes you seem knowledgeable about the subject you're talking about. Then assuming that everything's good to go, you're going to agree upon a commission structure where you can eat what you kill. This is exactly what you want as a beginner. And then you get it in a legal contract and get started. And then later on, I'll show you after I go through the live example on Instagram, um, how an interview will typically go. But now everything that I just said, you can actually go up and apply this. But now I'm literally just going to go in and take everything that I just said for the next 10 minutes or so, go on Instagram and show you how to do it. So you can literally just copy me. Okay, so the first step here is finding ideal clients. And the best way that I've actually found how to do this is by finding pools where these people that meet the criteria here would be located. And the best way to do this is by actually going up a tier and looking for their business coaches. Okay, so there's business coaches that teach people how to run businesses and grow their business, and they work with tons of clients. And these people that the business coaches work with are your ideal clients. And so the best way that I've found is to actually use Instagram and you want to go and try to find some sort of industry leader that works with coaches and helps them grow their business. And there are tons and tons of these people. I have about seven examples pulled up here on the left on Instagram. You can go in and find many more people, but this is going to be the start of how you can actually go about finding ideal clients. And so now let's talk about the different methods. So I referred to this on the the lucid spark, but basically there's the ads hacking, there's the connections, there's the chaining and there's the client results. So basically what ads hacking is, is when you start following individuals like this, you're going to start to see their ads and you can basically trick the Instagram algorithm into interacting with their ad as if you were interested in buying whatever they had to offer. And then Instagram is going to start giving you more and more of their ads, but it's also going to give you more and more of their competitors ads. And then you start interacting with those ads as if you were about to buy something. And then Instagram will basically create a situation where as you're scrolling through the story, you'll see more and more and more ads from people. So that's what's called the ads hacking method. The connections method is basically where you have an industry leader like this, and you're just going to press this little plus here on computer. And it's going to give you examples of other people that are similar to this account to follow. And now this has opened up a pool of more people that you can check out to see if they'd be a potentially good fit to work with them. Um, I'm going to talk about my preferred method in a second, but this also works very, very well. Then you have the chaining method. And so the chaining method is again, you take an industry leader just like this and you go to the people that they're actually following. And you're going to see people that pull up here. A lot of these people, there's a good chance that they would be an ideal client to work with. So you can open up people like this, boom, run the business at Martel Media. Okay, so that guy's working for somebody else. But if you just literally look at some of these people, they're good fits to work with. Everything is influence, sold $100 million in coaching sales. So now you're starting to open up the pool for more and more people by just going into the people that he's actually following. You know, you have more people like this here where 312k followers may not be a good fit because he has a large following but basically you can go into their following find ideal clients just like this 
open up their Instagram, see if they're qualified, and maybe they're too big, maybe they're too small, but then once you find somebody that's qualified, then you can go to their following and find more and more people. And this method is called the chaining method because it literally starts with like one person and it, it can open up to like tens and then you have 10 people and now it's opening up to hundreds and then now you have hundreds of people and so on and so forth. And then my favorite, personally, my favorite method is to actually use what I call the client results method. So a lot of these people, again, they're coaches and they work with business owners, helping them grow their business. And again, the clients that they work with are your ideal clients. And so a lot of people just like this as well, they have Instagram highlights and Instagram stories where they talk about client results or they might not have it in their highlights, but they post about it in their content um, as an example and some of these other people. And so this allows you to go in and like click on something like this find some of the clients that are getting results in their program and then going and looking them up on Instagram and seeing if they'd be looking for an appointment setter. And so first person, Nils Roth. So we can just look him up and see if this pulls up. Um, I didn't get his actual name. One second, oh, wrong one. Client results. I might just have to do a new one if I can't find the same one again. I think it was here. Yeah, it was this one. Okay. Nils Roth. Let's see if we can find him here on Instagram. If we can't, then it's all good. Yep. So this guy, I mean, he looks like a coach, but um, he appears to be German. So unless you speak German, then, you know, probably wouldn't want to work with somebody like this, but looks to seem to be pretty quality. Um, Nick Priola. Nick Priola. Boom. Weight loss coach for women, 21K followers, so that meets the criteria. He also says DM ready to lose 20 plus pounds working with me, which basically says that it shows that he has a high ticket offer. Otherwise, he wouldn't have this DM here thing. Um, there's no point in DMing about selling some sort of cheap course. The only people ever really use appointment setters and in the DMs is for high ticket purchases. And so this is a good indicator that this person uses appointment setters and uses closers then great entrepreneur with a great vision the only way you're going to be able to find this is on an interview with people so you can scope that out on the interview i'll show you how to do that in, like later on in this video are they creating content on social media plus getting good client results well he has four tabs of client results so i would think so and he has three screenshots right here of students losing weight and he's posting content pretty consistently so meets the boxes there and then a niche that you're interested in so if you're interested in working with weight loss then 100% this would be a great client and so best case scenario you want to work with this person great worst case scenario again you can use any of the methods that I talked about earlier you can go into this guy's following and find more people to work with or you can go back to uh, Jeremy for example here and use the client wins method again and go to results find some more people look them up scope them out let's just look the, look at the next one Sean Holden Austin Medellin boom like we can look at all these people Nick Neville Adam Bunnell let's look them up yep so this guy 100% needs appointment setters and needs closers and so he helps coaches uh, sports coaches go online uh, DM me remote to get started so he uses appointment setters checks the second box of having a high ticket offer 5 to 50k followers checks that box great entrepreneur with a great vision 100% um, you'll find this out on the interview so assume that this is just met until the interview I would say um, unless they straight up tell you in the DMs like hey I'm not looking to grow my business right now uh, creating content on social media plus good client results again this person has client results all over their page and they're posting content on social media. Seems to be good there. And then lastly, a niche that you're interested in. So if you're interested in maybe helping this niche of sports coaches go online, then take up this offer. If not, again, literally just rinse and repeat the process for more people. And you can find tons and tons of, of pools of people opening up. And then if you don't wanna use the client wins method, you can go to the following and you have more people and you can open them up, see if they'd be a good fit. I help people make 10K per month flipping cars. Hmm, maybe that's interesting. Does he have five to 50K followers? Yes. D 
DM me. That means he has a high ticket offer. Great entrepreneur with a great vision. You just assume that that's good to go until you get on the interview, unless they straight up tell you. Creating content on social media plus client results. Yep, he has client results. And he seems to be posting content, maybe not all the time, but he's posting content. Cool. Niche that you're interested in. Are you interested in pursuing this offer of helping people make 10K per month flipping cars? If so, take it up, right? If not, again, you just rinse and repeat the other processes and you can just find more and more people. And so what you should be doing as a beginner is you should be doing this shit all day, every day until you land a position. You just basically have to do outreach until you land a position. I'm gonna show you in a second, how do you actually send messages to these people and what do you actually say? But without further ado, like this is what you do as a beginner. You send 20 to 30 of these messages every single day, like clockwork, and then you'll eventually land a role and then you'll eventually start making money. Like, it's that simple. All right, so once you start getting good at the skill of actually finding people, which is a skill, you get better at it as you do more and more outreach, then now let's talk about like what you should actually say to these individuals and how to make that process go. And so basically, if I were to go in and message somebody like this, the first thing that I, I would do is I would scope out their profile and watch their content for like one or two minutes to see what type of content they make. Obviously he's talking about flipping cars and making 10K per month. So when you're doing outreach, you wanna have some sort of personalization to the person you're talking with. And I see people mess this up all the time. They just have copy and paste messages that they blast out to all these people. But the reality of this situation is the only way to stand out is to catch somebody's attention and be different than everyone else. And so if I was coming in here, I would probably say something like, yo dude, just found your content on the explore page. Love that you're talking about making money by flipping cars. I think that's a pretty obscure, obscure niche that not too many people talk about. And then I'd say something like, so this, this right here is the personalization. It's just like, yo dude, found your content on this Explore page. Love that you're talking about flipping cars. I think that's a pretty obscure niche. And now obviously, depending on who you're talking about, this will change. And that means that you need to actually know what you're doing when you're sending out messages. But the whole point is, you wanna do two things. You wanna keep this message specific to the person you're talking to. You could say, yo dude, or you could even say, yo ball, or you could say, um, you could change this up, say something about what his content is talking about specifically or a specific video that you found him from. But now we're actually gonna get into the pitch part. And so my line that usually works the best is like, sorry for coming in cold here, but I was wondering if you have any spots open on your sales team for appointment setters. No worries either way, but if you do, I'd be more than happy to work with you and crush it. Then here, if you have any experience, you can throw this in there. If you don't, that's totally cool too. If you do, I'd, I'd be happy. Actually, I'd, I'd said I'd be happy earlier, or I'd be more than happy. So I'd, if, I'd say something like, if you do, I can film you a quick video introducing myself and my experience to show that I can crush it with you. And I'm like throwing some sort of emoji. Fist bump or something. Let me know. Flex.
let me know if you're interested. No worries either way. So this message, um, it's a little bit long-winded, but I would, I would send out something like this. Now, I actually probably should have put this guy's name in here, but the reality of the situation is um, this is the main focus that I was trying to do. Number one, I was trying to look like I was a chill person. So like, don't you don't want to have like a script or you don't want to like make it seem like too professional because nobody really likes that. That's inauthentic. And the second thing, and you maybe have noticed it, but you also maybe haven't. What you'll notice is that in these messages, I tried to make it seem like I wasn't needy. And so at the end, you can see here, I'm like, let me know if you're interested. No worries either way. Flex. What does this exude? Well, it, it makes it seem like I'm already doing good. Or it makes it seem like I already like am in demand. And that's why being non-needy is valuable. And so you want to make your message when you send it out to people, you want to make it non-needy. Because if you're just like, dude, can I please work with you? I really want to work with you. Then it makes it seem like there is an ulterior motive. And then this guy is going to be like, why does this guy want to work with me so bad? Is he just like wanting my money? And then that triggers sales resistance and then they don't want to work with you. And so your objective every single day is to do enough outreach to the point where you start getting one personalized Loom request every single day. And so I, we just sent out this message and we said, let me know if you're interested in I, sending the quick video introducing myself. Once you do 10, 20, like it's, it's un, like there's no way that you can't get one personalized Loom video a day. So once you start doing this, you personalize the messages, you make it seem valuable. If you have experience, you fuse that in here then you'll get to the point where you send out 10 of these and you'll get two or three Loom requests, Loom intro requests. But basically you just wanna do enough outreach to get to the point where you get one video introduction out to people every single day. And if this isn't happening, if you're doing outreach, like this is where having a coach would be extremely valuable, but usually part of the reasons why most people struggle with this like if for some reason you're sending out 10, 20, 30 messages a day and you're just not getting Loom requests, then usually either one, there's not enough personalization to the person you're talking to in the message. So that means you gotta make this more exclusive to them. Number two, your profile might not be attractive. So I'm on a burner account, so I have no idea if this will work really well or not in terms of getting responses. But for profile, basically you just wanna have um, like some sort of pictures of you on a vacation or some sort of pictures on you with you and your family, etc. Number three, your account could be restricted. Um, there's not many ways to get around this, but your account could be restricted. And so you might just need to start a new account. Like if you're sending a hundred messages and nobody's even like opening the message, then there's a good chance that that message actually went into, so you have the request tab here but you have this tab that's called hidden requests. And from a business owner's perspective, literally no one checks this. And so if your messages are going in here and you're sending out hundreds of messages per day and nobody's even like opening them, that means you're probably going into hidden requests and there's, there's, it's not too easy to fix something like this. Or number four is just, you're simply not doing enough volume. So if you're only doing like five a day and you're not getting one loom request every single day, then you just need to do more volume and that's the reality of the situation. Another thing that you need to understand is depending on who you're talking about should dictate how much personalization you do versus how much volume you do. And so if you have like a bigger account, let's just say it has like 50, 100, 150K followers, which I know I recommend to not really message too much, like the massive accounts. But if you have somebody that has that, for instance, and you still wanted to message them, that's okay. But what you need to do is you need to personalize the message more and more. So basically the more followers the person has, the more personalized the message you send should be. And so the reason, um, and I talked about this in the video, but the reason that we send this is because um, your problem as a service provider is lack of interest. And so your message here should be basically, in your outreach, you must sell the thing that the person cannot say no to or would feel stupid saying no to. And so it's literally just like a video introduction. It's not like, hey, I, like, I wanna work with you, please pay me money, blah, 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 okay? Once they say yes, then ideally, they will keep saying yes. 
no likelihood that all of the next yeses across the board will increase, okay? So now basically you just wanna do this and you wanna do this for more people. Another variation that you could try of something like this is something like, hey name, I was just going through your recent Instagram posts where you were talking about X, Y, and Z. I must say that your content um, is quite unique compared to what other coaches are preaching in your industry. Out of curiosity, I was wondering if you have spots open on your sales team for appointment setters or closers. If you do, I would love the opportunity to work for you. And if you have room open, let me know and I'd be happy to send over a video introduction to see if we'd be a good fit to work together. No worries either way. You know, same format, same style, but you change it up a little bit so that you're not just copying and pasting the message out to thousands of people every day. So assuming that you can actually start getting to the point where um, you start sending out Loom videos every single day. Another thing is follow-up. So if for whatever reason, like people just aren't responding to you enough, the recommendation that I have, if you can follow up, like some people have like this invite thing and they don't let you um, send more than like one message out to the person. But if you can follow up with them, then I'd recommend following up simply two times if they don't respond and then you stop after two times. So if you follow up twice and they don't say anything, then just give up on the person, okay? Now, assuming that this guy comes in here and he's like, yes, Trevor, please send me over a video introduction. I actually am looking for appointment setters and I'm building like a wait list right now for hiring my next one. What do we actually say in the personalized Loom video? And this is where it's gonna get fun. So I have the format here that I covered on the video. But basically, the first thing that you want to do is you want to greet them and thank them for actually taking the time to watch your video. And so your personalized Zoom video and mine in this instance, it would look something like, hey, Ball, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And thank you for, um, yeah, I'd say something like, hey, hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and hope you're having a good one um, after our quick conversation on Instagram. Then the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to introduce yourself and tell them the value that you bring to the table. So again, hey Ball, thank you so much for checking out this video and hope, it, hope that you're having a great week so far. My name is Trevor and I'm based in the United States in the state of Florida and I'm 22 years old and currently I'm doing this, that, and the third. So if you're doing appointment setting right now or closing right now and you're trying to get a better role, you talk about your experience. Right now I'm working for a business and I'm currently making my business owner 20K per month, but the problem is, is he doesn't have enough leads and I want more work on my hands, right? And if you didn't have experience, you'd be like, hey, um, my name is Trevor and I'm an appointment setter that specializes in helping people on Instagram. Like this is where you personalize it to the person you're talking to. So my name is Trevor, I'm 22, I'm from Florida and I specialize in helping people with coaching programs and are posting on Instagram, send more of their followers and more of their attention into booked appointments for you. Something like that. This is highly dependent on the person you're talking to and this is highly dependent on your own experience, but if you don't have experience, then it's simple, you just be like, my name is Trevor, this is where I'm from, this is my age, and this is what I specialize in. I specialize in helping people take followers, the likes, the comments that they're getting on social media and convert them into more sales calls. It's that simple. Then after that, you want to explain why you decided to reach out to this person specifically and you want to have some sort of um, personalization. And the reason why I decided to reach out to you, um, I honestly just found your content on the Explore page, but I realized really quickly that your offer is a lot more scalable than what most people talk about because it's unique. And I'm looking for a position where I can be a long-term help to the person I'm working with. And I really wanna make sure that I'm working with a good offer and based on everything that I've seen so far, I think your offer can crush it and I think I can crush it working with you, right? You just talk about why you decided to reach out to this person and what intrigued you about their profile and what made you even wanna send them the message in the first place. And the whole goal with that is to make them feel at least a little bit special for why you're sending them the video. You could say something like, I came across the, your profile on the Explore page as I was scrolling through Instagram and I noticed that you built a following of 6,000 followers or you know 7,000 maybe in this example. And I wanted to say congrats on that as this proves that there's a pretty big market out there for people who are interested in your program. 
Then the fourth thing is you want to build authority by sharing any past experience that you can leverage. And so again, if you have experience here, experience definitely helps. Then you're basically just going to want to say like, if you have any space at all available on your sales team, I know that I'm the best because I'm currently working in a business right now that we're getting um, 10 leads a day and I'm booking two of them per day. So we're so efficient, but my business owner isn't spending enough money on ads. And so I'm looking for extra work. I'm looking for another position that I can take up. And you just tell them transparently. If you don't have experience, then you basically want to say something like, if you have any space at all on your sales team, I know that I would crush it with you because sales is something that I've always been interested in and I've been obsessed with over the past couple months. And I have a good amount of practice working with mentors and friends. Full transparency, I don't have the most practice in the world or the most experience in the world, but I have the hunger and the desire to be the best. And so basically, you want to sell yourself on the fact that, yes, you don't have a ton of experience right now, but you have the work ethic. And business owners are totally okay with that. Like for me, when I'm hiring people to my team, I don't hire for necessarily always experience. If somebody has much more work ethic and much more of a desire to be great than this other guy that has a ton of experience, but he's just like a lazy bum, I'm going to take the hungry young guy. So you want to use that hunger to your advantage. It's like, yes, I don't have a ton of experience right now, but I'm willing to put in the work and I'm willing to do what I need to do. And I'm willing to do the boring shit that most people aren't willing to do, like follow up with my leads, track all my numbers, have daily meetings where we can focus on getting better, all of that stuff. Okay. Then after that, you want to say something like, if you decide to move forward with me, you have my word that I will not only focus on doing appointment setting, but I will also be researching in my free time other parts of the business that can overall just help the business grow. And so I don't want to just help you with appointment setting. I want to help you in as many ways as possible grow your business. Something like that. You could even say something like, I know this is your literally your first time seeing me, so maybe you don't fully trust me yet, but you have my word that I will do such a good job that it actually builds the reputation of your business and that people end up loving your stuff and I'm not causing any angry tension in the DMs with people. Something like that. Then step six, we talked about this here, um, is using some sort of personal story. And so for me, I personally played three sports year round. I was a varsity athlete in all three sports. And so I would use that in my personalized Loom videos. For you, if you've had experience being great at something in life, or maybe you've went through a weight loss journey or something like that, that pertains to the person you're talking to, you wanna throw in some sort of personal story into your Loom video. So it's like, and um, I have the hunger to be the best, and I know this because I was a three sport athlete, I played sports year round, and you build a ton of discipline in there of doing stuff that you don't necessarily feel like doing, but you wanna do it deep down because you wanna be great. And this is what I will bring to the table when it comes to working with you. I will execute my task to the best of my ability and I will show up even on the days where I don't necessarily feel like it, I'm gonna do the work and you have my word on that. You know, something like that. Or if for whatever reason I was 250 pounds a year ago and now I'm 150 pounds, I'd be like, and um, just a little bit of a story about myself. I went through a weight loss transformation over the past year and so obviously going through a weight loss journey, it takes a lot of discipline and it takes a lot of showing up and hard work, which I know is something that you'd probably want out of a, out of a employee. And I went from 250 pounds to 150 pounds in the, the course of the last 12 months. So I know what it takes to do the work, right? You just want to show that you're somebody that will actually bring value to the team. And then lastly is a CTA, which a CTA is to try to get an interview. And so it's like, hopefully you enjoyed this Loom video. Let me know what you think. And I'd be more than happy to have an in-depth conversation on you with an interview where you can ask me questions and we can make for sure that we can work together and crush it together. Let me know if you're down to jump on an interview. If not, totally understand as well. You take care and have a good one. It's that simple, guys. You just follow what I talked about over the last 10 minutes or so. You practice it. You get really good at it. Like I talked about this earlier, but I've sent out probably north of 200 Loom videos at this point. 
it takes practice but once you get good at it like you can just freestyle it like I kind of was here and you'll get to the point where these loom videos if you start doing one loom video a day you'll start getting like half or a quarter of the people that you send loom videos out to will want to get on interviews with you and then of those people you're, you'll convert a large amount and so then the next thing is once you start actually sending out loom videos to people then you're gonna start ripping this out and either they're gonna respond and they're gonna to wanna to get on an interview or they're not gonna respond or they're gonna politely decline you. But if they don't respond, you're gonna to wanna to follow up with them, not asking to get on an interview with them, but asking them for feedback about the video. Hey, Ball, did you get a chance to check out the video? I'm interested to hear your thoughts. No rush or something like that to make it seem not needy. Either they're gonna eventually get on an interview or they're gonna tell you no. But the important thing is, if they tell you no, you wanna understand why. Because if you don't get feedback, you're never gonna improve into the future. Best case scenario, you get on an interview, you land them as a client, and you start killing it. Worst case scenario, you improve. So you always win. Then, you're gonna use the feedback, if they say no, to iterate your message moving forward. But you you basically want to eventually get to the point where you do enough volume of sending out video introductions to people to land at least a meeting a week. This is your second objective, is to eventually start landing one meeting a week. And if for some reason your personalized Loom videos aren't converting, this is where having a one-on-one -on -one coach would be extremely valuable, where I can go in and watch your Loom videos and see what could be better and see what could be improved so that you can try to get more or a higher percentage of these people on interviews, but you can land an interview a week. And once you land an interview a week, it's literally just a matter of time before you start killing it and landing a client and start making money online, finally. So you can tell your parents to shut up. <laughs> um, again, follow up, ask for feedback. This interview, make sure you come from the perspective of a doctor. And now that we're here, let me talk about how an interview will typically go. So this is highly dependent on the person that you're talking to, but usually when you get on an interview, the business owner is going to lead you. So it's not like you go onto the interview and you try to lead the whole conversation. Um, I wouldn't try to do that. I mean, there have been some instances where I've worked with clients in the past and like the business owner had no idea what they're doing. So I kind of had to get on, on the interview and kind of like lead them and just start by asking them questions first but usually they're gonna start by asking you questions. And so first, the client will usually ask you questions like, what is your experience? Again, if you don't have experience, you use your work ethic as an advantage. What motivates you? Like, why are you doing this? Why, are you, why do you wanna make money? If you don't know this, uh, it's time to wake up and figure that out. How do you handle rejection? Why shouldn't we hire you? So this is kind of like a trick question. Um, most people would think like, oh, well, there's no reason why you shouldn't hire me because I'm the best in the world. The reality though is business owners are looking for honesty here. And so you just straight up tell them like what's something negative about you. Like there are some times where I'm too obsessed with work that I sacrifice other parts of my life and um, it ends up actually making my work worse. And I'm working on getting better at that. Dude, a business owner would love to hear that. It's important to ask the questions to make yourself seem as credible as possible, but also make yourself seem as non-needy as possible. You should actually go into the interview being like, if I land this interview, great. I'm gonna start finally making money online. If not, it's all good, bro. There's thousands of other people out here. Like I showed you guys at the earlier parts of this video when we're doing outreach, there are literally thousands of these people out here. There's so many, like you can go to their following, find more and more and more and more people, and then you can go find more and then you can go find more, and then you can go find more. Like there are so many people out here, there's no excuse why you should be super mad at not landing a role and being needy because there's just so much, okay? Answer questions, and um, so after answering your questions that the business owner is likely gonna ask you, it's time for you to answer questions. Now, why do we wanna answer questions? Well, it's simple. Talked about this earlier, but you need to make it seem like you need to make sure you can even help them because if you ask questions and they don't meet this criteria here, like if they have a $500 course or they um, 
are like they literally just hit a record month and they don't want to grow their business any further or if their program sucks and it only gets people 10 percent results like 10 percent of the time or you're not really interested in like you don't see the world the same way that they do you don't have to work with them so first you need to figure out if you can even help them then you want to make it seem like you know what you're doing and this is what you do by asking questions so you need you need to get crystal clear on what is their offer? What is the price of their offer? What is the niche of their offer, right? So this person says, I help people make 10K per month. Get more specific. What does people mean? Why, who do they work with? What's the price of their program? What's their mechanism? Do they do one-on-one -on -one coaching? Do they sell a course? Do they do group coaching? Do they sell a community? And then do they offer payment plans? So if the price of their program is $3,000, do they offer payment plans where people can pay some now and some later? get crystal clear on this stuff. Then after that, how many clients are they signing up per month? How many clients are they currently signing up to this price? Then you do the math in your head for how much money they're currently making and you just get a good gauge of how much money they're currently making. Then what is the mission or the goal of the business in the next three to six months? And you want to get this as a monetary goal ideally. So maybe you do the math and you find out currently they're making 20K per month, but they want to grow to 60K per month in the next three months. Love it. That's perfect. And then are they working with a coach? This is a great question to ask because if they're working with a coach, that will actually help you make more money, ironically enough. If not, it's not the end of the world. It just means that you need to become extremely valuable to the business you're working with because you need to essentially be their coach. And so remember, you can use these to qualify the person. If you find out based on these questions that you don't wanna work with them, say no, it's okay. Let somebody else have the position. Use the criteria above that I shared at the start of this training to qualify them, see for sure that you can even help them. And once you do this, once you send outreach, using uh, the methods here, the ads hacking, connections, chaining, client results, you can use a combination of all of these or you can just focus on one my favorite is the client results because it gives me a surefire way that they're working with a business coach. Once you do this enough though, you're gonna to find tons of people. You're gonna send out messages to them. A percentage of them are gonna be interested in video introductions. And then a percentage of those people are gonna be interested in an interview. And then it's just a numbers game until you land your first position. And now you're making three, five, or even more than that per month online. You can finally tell your parents to shut up and you can work from home and work wherever you want in the world. And life gets really fun. And then guess what? The skills that you build doing appointment setting and doing remote sales for this client will literally be transferable over the next 10, 20 years. Like I use my appointment setting skills that I built three years ago. I use them today on a Saturday. <laughs> like this is, this is what you guys want to do. And so straight up guys, like you can take everything that I covered in this video to just straight up, like use it, steal it and start to see results with it. Now, if you are looking for a coach or looking, you just fuck with me as a person and you're just like, dude, I wanna work with you. And you would feel more comfortable having my eyes on everything that you do to make sure that you're doing everything the right way. So I can review your personalized Loom videos, so I can review your outreach, so I can review your interviews and give you tips and help you improve. And then also when you do land a role, you would like some help from somebody who can help you improve your own ability and skill inside of the role that you land so you can make more money because you are on a performance base, then that's what I do inside of the one-on-one -on -one coaching program. And in fact, I'll give you a special bonus in this video for getting this far and watching until this video. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching and you decide to join, just tell me you came from this video and straight up, you can join the program. I guarantee you, I will get you to the point in the next 90 days where you will make three to 5K per month or I will refund the entire price of the program. No worries at all. I don't need your money. If that's something, something you're interested in, then you can book a call using the link in the description and you and I can jump on a quick Zoom conversation to see for sure if I can even help you based on where you're at. But other than that, if you guys don't want one-on-one -on -one coaching and you're like, Trevor, just shut up, that's cool too. I'm not offended. If you do, you can find that in the link, of the link in the description. Other than that, guys, though, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and go use this to make a lot of money.